Hello everyone, welcome to Built From Bricks, I'm Brian, and today I'm bringing you a Lego haul. So I haven't done a haul in a while, and I have a bunch of stuff from the last month or so that I wanted to show you. So let me get this rolling and start opening some boxes and show you what I got. So we're going to start off here with some of the Harry Potter sets. This is the Quidditch match, and it's a really cool set, it's 500 pieces, and the only thing missing I would say would be the Quidditch pitch. want to add some grass and some of the stands maybe for the spectators to watch Quidditch. This is a fun set that came out recently in the Harry Potter set and lots more to come with that. Let's find the next one. We have this which is the Whomping Willow. Like Hedg Hedgewig's Whomping Willow. Well it's a castle. What do they call this? This is the yep Hogwarts. Why did I say Hedgewig? Hogwarts, Hogwarts Whomping Willow. Another cool set and it's got a little bit of the castle there. A little kind of like the exterior gate area. And then you get the Whomping Willow over here, and then of course the flying car, the Ford Anglia. It's a memorable scene in the movie, so pretty cool set. And of course, new minifigures in it as well. Well, yeah, they have, so all the minifigures in this have short legs. And not sure why they did that, maybe because they're first year, so they're smaller. And then with the older sets, as they get older, they have bigger legs. Well, let's find the next one. We have now the Hogwarts Castle. And this set, pretty cool update to the Hogwarts Castle, 878 pieces. And it does have quite a few minifigures in here. Lots of minifigures, in fact. I don't know how many are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 or 11 or so. I don't know if I counted them right or not. But I ended up with two of these because I bought one and I actually won a raffle for one. So I was thinking to combine them, possibly to make a bigger castle or maybe something else. We'll see. But some pretty cool pieces I could use for, you know, tower type stuff. On to the next one. We have this, which is also a Harry Potter set. This is the Hogwarts Express. 801 pieces and a really cool train. Another one that I got two of because of the raffle. I ended up getting two for, or waffle we call it. Um, I ended up getting two of them for 10 bucks, I think it was. It was just 25 spots and I ended up winning both of these sets for like $10 plus $15 in shipping. Really cool. I'm thinking of combining the two sets to have at least one more passenger car. Maybe I'll take the engine and, I don't know, do a trade for that or something. We'll see. And let's go on to some more stuff. So I did a trade with someone. I did have the Lego Helicarrier, the Avengers Helicarrier. And I wasn't ever going to build it. It's a really, it's a cool looking set. It's a really cool set. But I did a trade with somebody. I ended up getting these bags over here. And let's pull them out and you can tell me what this is. This is one of the sets. So, setting by the pieces, not sure. You probably can't tell what that is. But this was the Arkham Asylum. So this is the Arkham Asylum set, which is in pieces. And I do the instructions for it, so that's important. I do have the instructions. And then the other set that I traded that Helicarrier for was this. And let me grab some of it, and you can see I got a bunch of really cool 16 by 32 blue base plates, which are actually always really cool. And then th this bag has a lot of tan, so that's kind of a hint of what it is. Tan pieces, over 4,000 of them. If you were thinking the Tower Bridge, it is the Tower Bridge. I don't think I'll actually build the Tower Bridge. The number of pieces in here that I can use for my zoo, and you might see over here, there's a little bit of the zoo entrance over here just hanging out on the table because I was just not deciding to clean up and started filming. So let's see what else I got. So new sets that came out, we have... Another Harry Potter set. This is from the Fantastic Beasts, and this one is called Newt's Case of Magical Creatures, and it does have some really cool creatures in there, and the fact that the suitcase actually opens and closes is also a really cool, fun thing. So here you have the closed suitcase, and then you can open it up, and the creatures don't think they fit inside, but it's, you know, pretend that you fit inside. I'm thinking of using the rhinoceros right over here for the zoo. I'll take off these little orange glow-in-the-dark cheese slopes or whatever they are and possibly change those up for some dark gray and make a rhino exhibit in the zoo. And you don't see rhinos in zoos a lot. They're they're very ex endangered almost, almost instinct at this point. Good thing for the zoos taking care of our rhinos. And more, we have my favorite, the Lego store. Finally got something that I can really, really use in the pick-a-brick wall. And this is the 2x2 two two light gray tiles. 
and I picked up three cups of this because I need so many of them for my sidewalks in my city as well as on the zoo sidewalks and the walkways in the zoo a lot of it will be light gray with possibly some color thrown in to make a little you know unique pattern or something like that and so we have three of those yeah three cups of these because I couldn't resist them and I didn't bother to stack the, the lids with too much stuff because I didn't feel like taking the time for that just one of the pieces and I picked them up another set is this we have the Ninjago City Docks and now you can't see me because this box is huge. I'm over here. I'm over here. But this is a great addition to the Ninjago city set with the Ninjago Tower, the, build, the original building. And this would be something that is going to incorporate into the city somewhere, hopefully along the shoreline, or we'll see. Maybe the back side of my city where it um, will fit in there nicely. I'm hoping that's a good spot for it. But this is a really large set at 3,553 pieces, and it will fit and take up a lot of space in the city. But I think it will look awesome in that kind of uh, the shadier, the Chinatown side of the city as well. It's not all shady over there, but it's kind of like the more of the rundown and the really congested part of the city where people can do their unique shopping and Chinese food and comic shops and all that kind of stuff. On to the next two boxes. One of them is a really large box and one other one. Let's get those. So I'm going to put this one down. Typically, I don't like moving around with this everything over here. But we're going to grab that one for last. We have this really big box right here. And this big box could be something cool. And it is. It looks like it is. And I know what it is. I'm just teasing you guys. But if I can open it, you can see. And we get lots of bubble wrap. This is why the studio's never, ever, ever clean. But, as you can see, uh, it's the Lego Roller Coaster, the Lego Creator Roller Coaster set at 4,124 pieces. This thing is a beast. And I think this will look good in the back of the city. It can possibly replace the Cyclone that I have in the back of the city, which is the non-Lego one, the CDX one. Really, really, really cool set. Um, eventually, I'll get to building that, among the other million sets that I have to build. And then lastly, one last set for this haul, and I guess I could call this almost a mega haul, is this box here. And this box, a heavy, isn't as big of a set, but it's a really cool set. And if you grew up in the 80s, you know exactly what this is. If you didn't, you'll see it now. I think I gave it away with the 80s, but Voltron. So this set is amazing, 2,321 pieces. And the awesome part about it is that all of the lions, which if you don't know Voltron, all the, all the parts of Voltron are individual lions that form to make Voltron. You can see part of it here on the back of the box where you have the legs right over here. And then the arms are the other lions. But amazing set. I can't believe they did this. It's something like you said, if you grew up in the 80s, you remember it. And they do have Voltron on TV now. So. This was my mega haul. I'm not sure if I missed anything. I'm sure there's a... Oh, there was some stuff I got. Now nah, I'm not going to grab each individual one of them, but the extra poly bags. The extra bags have the plants and the light posts and the street signs. And I believe Lego's first thing, if I can grab it, let me grab one more thing, which is in here, or is in here, or is over somewhere. I lost it now. Oh, this combobulated here, doing this live. But here we go, we got this beach bag. And where is it? There is a, somewhere in this bag, as I get lost, is Lego's first plant-based set. So these plants are actually made out of real plant material. Real plants, they recycled plants and made their first sustainable Lego pieces. Now I wish I had more than this. There's 29 pieces in here and I don't think that these pieces are going to be discernible from the original ones. So if they get mixed in with my other set, then some of them will be plant and the rest of them will be ABS. But really cool. And lastly, for the first time ever, LEGO is doing pre-order sales. And this guarantees you the set on release day, on the VIP release day specifically. And that's for the LEGO Harry Potter set. So at uh, 6,000 pieces, there's the new LEGO Harry Potter set, um, castle in micro scale. And it has a ton of micro scale figures as well as the four founders of 
Hogwarts in regular minifigure form, and I imagine these are going to go crazy because it's the only set you're going to see them in, most likely, and it's the first time they've been released. There's never been a Salazar Slytherin or Rowena Hufflepuff or can't think of the Red Godric Gryffindor, and what's the one I'm missing? It'll come to me after the after I'm done recording. But really cool oh, Ravenclaw. That's Rowena Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. I forget the name, but that was the Lego Hall. And very exciting, lots of stuff to build, lots of stuff for the zoo, to, to incorporate the zoo, and there will be another zoo update really shortly, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. So that wraps up the LEGO Mega Haul, and I hope you enjoyed this, and don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube at Built From Bricks, and stay tuned each Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our live stream. Thanks for watching. What have you built today?